The New York corruption trial against former Cuomo aide Joseph Percoco and the two Syracuse developers will wrap up today. And a surprising turn of events yesterday may change things. Here to tell us what these last days hold is political analyst Connor White. Connor, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So one of the charges against Joseph Percoco was dropped yesterday. How does this overall bode for the defense? Well, this works into the defense's hands because it just continues to add to the idea that the prosecution didn't actually have enough evidence coming into this case to convict him. What the judge did was they threw out an extortion uh, count against him because he wasn't actually put in a government office at the alleged time that he took this bribe. He had left his post as the executive deputy, deputy secretary for Governor Cuomo and was then working on the governor's re-election campaign. According to the judge, that means that that will not hold up. Mm -hmm. And closing arguments began today. So what is the prosecution saying? Well, they're talking about ziti, and it's not about food. They're actually talking about a term that was used on the show The Sopranos to describe bribe money. They pointed out that that is a word used by Prococo himself when talking to Albany lobbyist Todd Howe uh, regarding money that he wanted. He was demanding ziti, talking about ziti, and they're saying that those, those words themselves, talking about something that specifically pertains to bribe money, it indicts him on his own words. And you talked to us a little bit about what the prosecution is saying. So now, can you tell us a little bit about what the defense is arguing? Well, what the defense began arguing loops back to Todd Howe, the Albany uh, lobbyist that I was talking about. He was actually arrested mid-trial, essentially for lying. Uh, he broke a government agreement by uh, essentially lying as to whether or not he had used his credit card at a hotel in New York. He did use that credit card, and it got him arrested, it got him thrown out, and the defense is pointing out that someone that shady is probably going to be framing their, uh, their client. All right, Connor, thank you so much. Thank you.